Do you still think that there's room to grow when it comes to like curvy girls being fully accepted in the industry? Yes, I think so. Yeah, especially like the natural bodies, because obviously Mm -hmm. like no one's ever going to have like a flat stomach or abs and a fat ass. Like that's Mm -hmm. really unachievable, but we should learn to love like cellulite, love handles, a little, you know, a little fupa. Yeah. You know, not everyone's going to have like a perfect body because when you really think about it, I go out, I go outside and I see a bunch of like thicker women mm-hmm. or like just, I mean, obviously people are going to be in shape, but it's like, like not everyone has a Victoria's Secret body. Not mm-hmm. everyone has like big boobs, flat stomach and a big butt, you know? Mm-hmm. So I think diversity is very important because then also as a viewer, like a woman, you're not just generalized to having that body. And I yeah. feel like women where our bodies are objectified and a lot of people expect us to look a certain way. So when you... I think there should be definitely more curvy women because then it gives like normal women the expectations like I don't have to look this perfect like this. Mm -hmm. I think that's why a lot of women like when I come like when I do conventions, a lot of them will come up to me and say, thank you like for representing like thicker thigh women Mm -hmm. or like, you know, just thick women in general, girls with like saggy tits because Mm -hmm. I do have natural saggy tits. It's not a bad thing. It's like it's normal. It's like Mm -hmm. real. Yeah. So I think definitely it needs to be more represented and. In a positive way, yeah. not in a negative. Because I remember like hating my thighs when I was in high school and thinking they were so huge. And of course I was like so much lighter than I am now. I, yeah. <laughs> and now I'm like, and I'm like, okay with the size of my thighs now. I'm like, fuck, I wish it was like that back when I was younger. But I agree with you. When I see thicker women, and I've noticed that my perception has changed. And I think it's been shaped by being in the adult industry and being around so many people that embrace diversity and mm-hmm. meeting so many like bigger women that are like proud of their sexuality and not afraid to get naked in front of the camera and Mm -hmm. are empowered women. And I think that that has shaped the way that I see women because now I'll see like a thicker woman out like wearing, you know, like more revealing clothes. Whereas, I mean, look, to be honest, like 20 years ago, I might've been like, oh my God, why is she wearing that? And now I see that I'm like, you know what? She feels confident. Good for you. Like that confidence that you're wearing right now is sexy. And like, I love that. Mm -hmm. Like, and I admire that. And I find that, and it's actually attractive. It's attractive. It is. Which is like something that I think that I never would have thought I would have seen before. And of course I was so much more self-critical when I was younger because you just tend to be. And now like- It's this comparison too. Yeah. And now that I'm like older and I see that, I think that's helped me embrace like my changing body. Mm -hmm. You know, like you you mentioned like accepting cellulite, like- (laughs) That's the hardest thing. Yeah, but you, you know, it's like, I got that. I mean, I'm 45 and I had a kid. Like, I could just Photoshop it. Yeah. I mean, I d- don't, don't get me wrong. I, I, I do love, that too. I love doing but, that. But I'll like, you know, I'm like wear shorts out. I'm like, this is, this it's is normal. It is. Yeah. I feel like guys generally, they don't care the way that we think they do. Yes, they don't. You they know, really like don't. the way that women view, way that we view and criticize ourselves. I feel like men, majority of men do not look at us the way that we look at ourselves. No. And then also too, I was having like a deep thought a few days ago. I even tweeted it, but I deleted it because people were like, are you okay? (laughs) But I was like, we don't really like know what we look like to someone else. Like how I like see you right now is what you, is different than when you see in the mirror, Mm -hmm. you know? So we are our worst critics. Yeah. Yeah. The body dysmorphia stuff is, is real and it's crazy. And I've, I noticed it especially because I'm in, I've spent most of my life behind the camera, right? And now like I'm in front of the camera a little bit. And the way that I see myself and the way other people see me, and I compare that to like when I shoot a model and the model's like, you know, if I get a model who's got some insecurity, she's like, oh God, I hate that part of me. I'm like, I didn't, like, I see that and it doesn't bother me at all. Like, yeah. I don't even notice it. And that's the first thing she looks at. And I'm always like, why would you hyper-focus on that? Like nobody else sees that. But now like that I'm spending some time in front of the camera, I do the same thing. My eye goes to whatever part of my body I hate. That's the first thing I look at. And I'm like, and then it like colors the entire thing for me. And nobody else is seeing that. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, yeah, it's wild. Yeah. That's why I kind of learned to like, you know what? Just kind of just be happy that you're just healthy. Mm -hmm. Because that's the number one thing is health. Yeah. 